It's the time of the air, the time of toxicity. Yeah, Christmas time is approaching. Don't get me wrong, I'm not the Grinch. But <laughs> I still love Christmas. So um, even as a spiritual person, some people think you cannot celebrate Christmas if you technically don't believe in everything why Christmas re exists in the first place. But not everything is wrong about Christmas, this bit's hat. I want to give you a few reasons why Christmas is still worthy to celebrate even as a spiritual person. Number one, Christmas is the time of kindness. You can feel it in the air. The people are different. They are more vulnerable and because they are more vulnerable, they also have more the need of helping people, wanting to help people. And this is amazing, right? So as a spiritual person, I feel like, oh my gosh, so nice to see all the love and laughter and goodness, kindness of people. Only downfall is I wish it would last the whole year, right? But we're getting there. So the thing is, it starts with us to have those kindness to share this kindness with other people the whole year, not only around Christmas, right? So let's keep the Christmas spirit going and let me give you another reason why Christmas is just amazing. Number two, why Christmas is just a really great, great, great thing to have in life in general. Christmas decorations. Come on, guys. I mean, who doesn't love a good Christmas decoration? It's the time of the year when you can put everything out that you would never ever put out the whole year. You feel secure. Some people feel drawn to certain kind of colors. So the Christmas tree does reflect them, their insight and their spirituality. And in certain extent also the colors that they actually need in life. Because certain colors have certain meanings. So you might think, oh yeah, it's just like bling and glitter and all colors mixed together for no reason no 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 people choose the decorations that actually fit them the best and that they actually need the colors that they need in their life so think about it number three christmas songs christmas carols i mean who does not enjoy singing with other people i mean yeah i can think about a few people that don't like to sing but in Christ during Christmas time, it doesn't count whether you're a good singer, a bad singer, no singer at all. Most of us are so infected once someone starts singing a Christmas carol that they cannot resist and just sing along. And singing is really beneficial for your health. So, and if you join a choir or if you get a few people to sing with you together, you release a lot of, lot of great, great uh, uh, um, hormones into your body that trigger your, your happiness processes in your body. Sorry, someone is just coming in and trying to stay focused. But honestly, give it a go. Sing some Christmas song. It's the time of the year. Let everything out, regardless of your voice, because your voice is beautiful, right? Number four, coming together with people you love. You have finally an excuse to be together with all your loved ones and families and friends at the same time. And yeah, so this is why Christmas should be really the whole year, right? Uh, we should spend more time with our loved ones and not only around the most touchy and, and, and uh, uh, emotional time of the year. We should have an excuse for this. So coming together with people for dinner, together in your home, it's not the same like you go in a restaurant. In your home is your home. It represents you. There's a certain kind of energy. It's beautiful if you invite people to your home. If you have people surrounding you. You know, most of the, most of the meaningful conversations or, or, or events happen when you are surrounded by your loved ones. And most of the times they are not in a, in a, in a fake or created environment like, for example, don't get me wrong, I still go out for restaurants, right? But I really love being, having people at home, being at home and sharing those things. You can get all comfy and cozy together. 
you can share meaningful moments, you can play games, you can cook together, you can sing together, you can craft together. It, it's a special time of bonding. So let's take this lesson or take this away, not away, but let's put this into Christmas. And come on, guys, right? Number five, it's all about the gifts. And now don't you think, oh my gosh, spiritual persons and gifts around Christmas, isn't this a bit cliche? Yes, but hear me out. So I'm not talking about the gifts that you buy at certain stores or those type of, I would call them more like fake gifts because do I really show my love to someone if I buy them I don't know, a bracelet or if I buy them some socks maybe I do, it depends to who I give those, right? But again, so it's not about the consuming consumer gifts that you can buy in any store and that cost you money. It's more about maybe like gift vouchers, like gestures, nice things that you can do and gift during Christmas. So if you are in a fortunate position, then why not to gift people that are in a less fortunate position? And you don't have to gift something major to them. Just something little, look around and see what they might need. And yeah, you yourself also don't get carried away and think, oh, I need this designer handbag. I need this, I need this. You don't really need it. Be honest to yourself, you really don't. What do you need? You need food, you need a place to stay. That's pretty much it. You need a bit of money to, to just go by. Right, um, and these are the things that you might be able to give to someone because you have them. If you're in this position, do it. So, for example, just go around, see where there are people who need your help, and maybe choose that this is your gift, your gift to other people, your gift to to some friends, your gift to unknown strangers. These are the type of gifts that I would love to get, that I like to give. So maybe that's an inspiration for you. Yeah, before I continue, continue about going on and bragging about why Christmas is still a great thing, let me make this clear. It's not about Christmas and the history why Christmas became famous in the first place or about a red truck and not uh, referring to certain kind of uh, brands here. It's about the spirit. It's about the love that's in the air, the laughter that's in the air, the joy that's in the air, but also all the drama and the heartache that comes with it. And let's make it a better place. So let's have Christmas from this year on forever, right? You can be kind every day in your life. So I send you much love, much peace. Oh, look at this, isn't this beautiful? sun is going down and I'm going to the sundown direction to have a beautiful beautiful gift myself like watching the sun going down what uh, what more peaceful thing could happen to me right now in this moment than watching the sun peacefully going down the night coming over me and yeah starting the night with a great time so live to your fullest be as kind as you can and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!